Hi, my name's Dan Deepaus, and I'm on the product management team here at MuleSoft. And today I'm going to show you how to easily connect to REST APIs that have a RAML associated with them using our new HTTP connector in the 3.6 release. To do that, I've actually created two different projects here. One is an API kit project that implements my API. And we've got another just blank project here that is the client that we're going to go implement. So to get started here, I'm actually going to start both projects at the same time here using the new uh, application configuration capabilities in Studio. What this is going to allow me to do is have my server available while I develop my client and to have my client just update and run whenever I make changes. So I'll select both applications here to launch and we'll call this the RAML example. So I'm going to go ahead and start that and then you'll see that it's going to launch an API kit console which shows me my API. We've implemented a soccer team API. It essentially lists the different teams available to you and the different positions for those teams. So we're going to pretend today that we want to get those teams out into a CSV file. So I'm going to explore this API by clicking on get and I'm going to see here that it takes a, a query parameter called city and for example I could use Barcelona as an input. It also returns a JSON response of teams that I need to somehow parse. So let's see how Mule helps us with that. I'm going to set up a flow here that pulls that API every, I don't know, we can make it every hour. And we're going to use that RAML to make our lives quite a bit easier. So I'm going to create a connector configuration for this new HTTP connector that we have here. Let's call this the team API. And I happen to know the RAML location here is at that address. I'm going to put it in and you're going to see it starts to pull out all the information from the RAML. First it pulls out the host port and base path. But as we go back to our processor configuration here, you'll see that it also gives me auto completion based on the resources in that RAML. So I'm going to select teams and I'm going to get from those teams. And then it's smart enough to figure out the query parameters. I remember that a good example there was Barcelona. So we're going to put in Barcelona. And it even finds the metadata for my payload. So now I can see the output here in the DataSense Explorer is a list of teams with city name, whether or not it's required or stadium. So now let's figure out how to get that into a CSV file. To do that, I'm going to use Data Mapper and I am going to use a file connector. Let's go back to Data Mapper here. You'll see that it knows my input type is JSON. Now let's define my CSV output. To do this, I'll just create a user defined output. We'll call this Teams and we'll make it, uh, let's say, team name is a column and let's call city a column as well. Once I create my mapping here, I can, I can just start to drag and drop here from left to right. So I actually want to create uh, you know, my home city over here on the right and I also want to map the team name. Uh, Data Mapper also did a root level mapping here for me, but in this case I don't want to map my top level object. Uh, so I'm just going to delete that and just map the array into the team CSV. And finally here, I'm going to output this into a CSV file in the output directory. I'll save this. It should update my application automatically here and run my poll. And if we look at this VSV file, we've got the teams out of the API. So I hope you've seen today how easy it is to use Mule to quickly extract information from your REST API. And we hope that you enjoy our new release. Please let us know all and any feedback over the forums. 
our blog comments or our support portal. Thank you very much.